Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 136. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Magic Tricks 133 to 145. Hey, trick 136, we're going to do something we've done before in these videos, a two-way lookup, but I'm going to show you a different way to do it. Since um, lots of people know VLOOKUP and like to use VLOOKUP and people don't necessarily know how to use index or indirect uh, to do a two-way lookup, I'm going to show you a VLOOKUP method. Now let's just review what we're trying to do here. We're doing a two-way lookup, which means we need to find day three, product two. Day three, product two. And the intersection, here's product two, come down here, and the intersection of the two, nine, one, nine, is what we need to return to the cell. In some of the other videos, we've done tax examples where you have two-way lookups like this. Now, uh, we've done uh, one video where we did uh, the space um, operator with the indirect function, and we did another one where we did index and match. And if you want to watch those videos, you just scroll over here, and there's some links to those videos. But this is the third way to do this, right? When we use VLOOKUP, you got to know match, though, too. Match function just returns the ordinal position. So, for instance, if you asked product two, where is the match function? You say look up product two in this uh, series of values here. It would return two because product two is one two. So that's the match. V lookup. All right, you ready? Equals V lookup. And the first thing we want to do is look up. Notice the days are in column one, so we can look up day three comma, and then we could do the table array, and we can just simply highlight there's column one, and then all of these values. Now it leaves out this up here, but that's not a problem. We have a solution for that. Comma, now what is the column index? Like what we would want here is since this is column one in VLOOKUP, this is column two, this is column three, we'll just use the match function, find this product two, and add one, and it will give us a three. So match, and I'm going to say look up this product here. Two in what range? I'm going to scroll up here and highlight that range here. Then comma, and I want to find, if I can scroll down here, we want to find an exact match. So we're going to put a 0, close parentheses. That's on the match. But remember, that gives us 2, so we need to add 1. So that gives us the column number. So if we click right here, you can see it gives us the column. Now the um, range lookup, we need to uh, put a 0 here because we're actually looking up a word, which is an exact match. So we're going to put 0, and then close parentheses, Control Enter. And there it is, nine, uh, 919, it works. So let's go ahead and try and change this. Let's go day 1, and then product 3. And sure enough, they should all be 733. Three. There it is, right? Day one, product three. Day one, product three. There it is right there. By the way, uh, and this uh, trick right here that we just did with the VLOOKUP and the match, that is from a Mr. Excel podcast. If you're not watching those uh, podcasts through iTunes, you're missing out a lot. But there's three methods to do two-way lookup. All right, see you next trick.